As you probably already know, a base runner's goal is to work his way around the bases and eventually get back to home plate so that he can score a run. While his advancement is usually the result of another batter hitting the ball, our runner can also take matters into his own hands and move up, or at least attempt to move up, by himself. And the, I guess you could call it the most direct way that he can do this, is to steal a base. So let's take a look at what it means to steal a base. When a runner is on base, he does not always have to be physically touching the base. He's allowed to take a few steps towards the next one. This is called a leadoff. A bigger leadoff will mean that the runner has less distance to run to the next base, but he also has to be careful because the defense can always tag him out if he is not actually physically touching the base. You may see a pitcher, rather than throwing the ball to the batter for a pitch, turn and throw the ball to the first baseman so that he can try to tag the runner out before he gets back to first base. This would be called a pickoff attempt. And if the first baseman can tag the runner out, we would say that he has been picked off. Usually the runner makes it back to the base in time, though. If our runner wants to steal the next base, then as soon as the pitcher throws the pitch, he will turn and run as fast as he can towards second base. At this point, when the defense sees the runner attempting to steal, the second baseman or the shortstop will usually run over to second base to cover the bag. Uh, bases are sometimes called bags. And as soon as the catcher catches the ball, assuming the batter has not hit the pitch, he will throw the ball to the fielder at second base. Most of the time, the ball and the runner will arrive at about the same time. The fielder will catch the ball and attempt to tag the runner out before he reaches the base. If the runner is tagged before he touches the base, then he would be out, but if the batter beats the throw, then he will be safe. The second base umpire will determine whether the runner is safe or out, and if he's out, then we would say that the runner has been caught stealing. But if he beats the throw, if the catcher makes a poor throw, or if the fielder drops the ball, then the runner will have stolen the base, and he would now be on second base. One thing to keep in mind is that even if the runner arrives before the ball, he must be careful not to overslide the base. Again, like the leadoff, any time he is not touching the base, he can be tagged out. If a runner happens to be stealing a base and the batter hits the pitch, all of the rules still apply. So if the batter flies out, there would still be a force out on the base that the runner started on. And if the batter hits a foul ball, then the runner would have to return to the base that he started at. Sometimes the offensive team will plan that a runner is to steal a base and the batter is to swing at the pitch on purpose. This is called a hit and run, and it will give the runner a little extra head start if it works. Runners will be safe more times than not, but attempting to steal a base is always a risky thing for the runner to attempt, and even the fastest runners will be caught stealing sometimes. Most often the runner will attempt to steal second base because it means that the ball will have to travel from the pitcher's mound to the catcher for the pitch, and then the catcher will have to throw it down to second base, all before the runner runs the 90 feet from first to second. Stealing third base is much tougher because it is a shorter distance for the catcher to throw the ball. The most difficult base to steal is home plate, which, yes, you are allowed to do, but it requires a lot of speed, perfect timing, and usually catching the pitcher and the catcher not paying attention. It is much less common now than it was in the early 1900s to see somebody steal a home plate, but I would argue that being so rare, stealing home may just be the most exciting play that you will see in baseball.